Yo, 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 what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. All right, so the beta for Modern Warfare 2 is here, and obviously a lot of people are going to be wondering what the best graphics settings are, so we're going to be going through that right now. All right, so first things first, display mode, obviously full screen. Unless you love to tab out and you hate waiting, then borderless, obviously. But full screen will really give you the best performance and will uh, reduce like latency a lot. So yeah, full screen. Display monitor, this will be your main monitor display adapter your gpu most of the time these are already selected by default so you don't really have to change them same thing for your refresh rate i mean um you know put it as high as you can or the one that you really want and i think it's also going to match like your windows uh screen refresh rate so yeah pretty much display resolution 1080 for me unless um you have a 1440 or 4k display then go higher but uh 1080 for me since this is a 1080 display dynamic resolution you don't need this on so off and uh, of course this will be off by default as well aspect ratio you can go with whatever is your monitor mine is 16 by 9 so um v-sync off off both in game and for menus here custom frame rate limits you want this and custom not unlimited just because in unlimited your gpu is gonna work like crazy and it's not really good when it comes to like um your your frames so really just bump it up to custom and then 300 at the max 60 here when you're in the menus and 60 when you're tabbing out or 30 if you want doesn't really change much but 60 for me i like to keep it nice and consistent 60 60 when I'm actually playing, it hopefully goes as high as it can. Uh, shaders, if you are having problems with, you know, the textures and stuff like that. Uh, display gamma, default 2.2. Unless you have a TV, then go for this. Um, brightness depends on you. Focus, don't need this. And HDR will depend if you're using it or not. I'm not, so yeah, apply. Now, we're going for quality. So we're going to go here, NVIDIA, DLSS, I'll turn this off. Um, I'm going to set my render resolution at 100, off, off, turn this on. It's a nice kind of like sharpening tool um, that's not going to affect your performance a lot. So yeah, 75 is a nice sweet spot here. SMA, A two times, um, low of this extra resolution low now the reason why you want to do this is because when you are getting in those really really crazy gunfights where there's a lot of action this is where your frames really dip i know that the game doesn't look as good as when it's on normal or high um some people would even recommend very low but honestly low and very low are not that different and i don't want my game to look really really bad so low is the lowest that i will go Texture, uh, texture filter anis anisotropic, go uh, high, particle low, don't need this. This depends on you if you want it. I don't really care unless I'm looking at like recoil patterns, but I'm not at the moment. So uh, shader, go for low or medium. It's fine. It doesn't affect your uh, game too much. Tessellation off. On demand texture streaming. This is the most important one. Turn this off. You really don't need this. It's going to... You know mess up your frames it's gonna mess up with like your uh your internet and stuff like that streaming quality normal leave this at normal because if you're going low i know it's gonna give you like way more um frames but you're not gonna see as far and it's not gonna stream like the map uh very well so this is kind of like the distance shadow map resolution low shadow spot low leave these two on cache spot shadows and cache sun shadows these are really the most important ones when it comes to the shadows article don't really need this low ambient occlusion off ssr off uh nvidia reflex low latency i would generally recommend on plus boost um because let's say your cpu is breaking too much or like you don't have enough like power from your cpu then you're gonna take it from your gpu most people are going to go on because they don't really need it, but I have that problem where my CPU is working too much and it's not as good. So I'll let my GPU work with it. Depth of field off, world motion and weapon motion off. 
don't need this film grain zero apply obviously your fov will depend on you i would recommend affected um you know higher 90 for third person and yeah you're pretty much set uh you could always go to interface to change um this make it closer to the screen what else um i'd recommend uh telemetry as well uh, always have your fps counter so you can see it your latency packet loss and the temperature of your gpu those are pretty much uh important and uh yeah that's pretty much it anyways let's hop on a game and see how it looks like all right so this is how it looks like obviously this is a beta so Things are going to be rendering or processing as we go. But this is how it looks like. Pretty stable. My fingers slipped there. There was someone behind me. And this is how it looks like in third person. Nada. Ah, my life. Kill him! 